heartbreaking, five cops assassinated after following Obama's old order to leave this one thing behind. Something needs to be done about groups like Black Lives Matters. Recently five police officers were killed by Black Lives Matter terrorist Micah Xavier Johnson. Time and time again we keep informing the public that political correctness kills, sadly this time it was literally. Dallas Police Association Mike Mata told Gpslical News, they were told not to wear their heavy gear, which, if worn, may have stopped some of those rounds. Logically this can say that because of this command, that could be the reason that cost these police officers lives. When will the United States government repeal the lax law and order laws that were made by Obama? Facts are facts, the way that Black Lives Matter conducts their business are acts of terrorism. Similar tactics they use are what the Palestinians use when they terrorize innocent Israelis. In the interview, Mata said, they didn't want the police department to look militaristic to the community, look aggressive, incite any type of trouble. All of the officers who worked the event wore standard issued soft armor, but followed orders and left their better protective gear behind, including stronger, thicker body armor, and helmets in their cars. Again this needs to change to protect the men and women who protect the citizens of the United States of America. Lawmakers need to stop taking many recesses and start working to ensure their safety. We elected a president who wants to bring back law and order. Enough with the anti-Trump nonsense and let the man do his job. America's finest have families that they provide for. Dallas officers told to leave armor behind before attack. Dallas, Texas, Dallas police officers who worked a Black Lives Matter rally July, 2016, were not allowed to wear certain armor because it would look too militaristic, according to Kpslickle. The political correctness might have cost them their lives. Five police officers who worked that rally were murdered by Black Lives Matter terrorist Micah Xavier Johnson. Dallas Police Association Mike Mata told Kpslickle News, they were told not to wear their heavy gear, which, if worn, may have stopped some of those rounds. In the interview, Mata said, they didn't want the police department to look militaristic to the community, look aggressive, incite any type of trouble. All of the officers who worked the event wore standard issued soft armor, but followed orders and left their better protective gear behind, including stronger, thicker body armor, and helmets in their cars. According to Mata, they were also not allowed to carry their department-issued rifles for the same reason. Armed with just their pistols, officers were outgunned by Johnson who used a rifle in the attack, which was the deadliest for law enforcement since 9-11. Johnson, a military veteran, had set out to kill as many white police officers as he could, according to the New York Times. The assassinations were fueled by the false narratives and violent rhetoric of Black Lives Matter members, as shown by Johnson's own words to police during the incident. He said that he was upset at the recent police shootings, dot upset at white people, that he dot wanted to kill white people, especially officers. The shootings were alleged to be payback for the July 5, 2016 shooting death of Alton Sterling by Baton Rouge police officers and the July 6, 2016 shooting death of Philando Castile by a St. Anthony police officer. Later on, after an investigation, the Department of Justice refused to charge the officers involved in the shooting of Alton Sterling. The officer who shot Philando Castile was acquitted by a jury. Mata said that the protective gear that was not allowed to be worn might have saved lives, or prevented more serious injuries. He said a lot of those shots and a lot of those wounds, were chest shots, lower abdomen wound shots, and those heavy vests would have covered them. He said that officers and their families are angry because the protective gear and the rifles were not allowed. Mata added that the widow of fallen hero officer Lauren Ahrens, Detective Katrina Ahrens, gave his heavy vest to his partner. He said that she believed it was what her husband would have wanted. Mike Mata said that some officers believe the decision not to allow officers to wear the gear came from former police chief David Brown. Chief Brown has since retired, and was unable to be reached for comment, according to Kpslickel. But Mayor Mike Rawlings did comment, and he said. The Dallas Police Department has taken numerous steps to better protect our officers since the unprecedented ambush attack on July 7, 2016, 
both through the purchase of equipment and thanks to generous donations from the community. Cost is not and should not be a barrier in our effort to safeguard our city's protectors. Regarding Dallas Police Facility upgrades, I continue to be frustrated with the slow pace of those enhancements. It's been more than two years since the shooting at Jack Evans Police Headquarters and we should have completed more work there and at our seven patrol stations by now. City Manager T.C. Bordnicks has made this a top priority since he took over and the process finally appears to be moving along thanks to him and his revamped team. His answer failed to address the decision to force officers to leave their armor behind. Black Lives Matter does not represent Black America, and it is time for Black leaders who care about America, and it is time now, along with the United States government to condemn Black Lives Matter movement and label them as terrorists. Terrorists.